What's going on, everybody? Hope you're all doing good. Time to get back to that white tail grind, man. Can we get that typical wreck? Can we do it? Can we get it? Hopefully we can. What's everybody doing? Hope you're all doing good. What's up, Necron? What's up, Haven? Hey, Delta Tom. 20 months as a member, Delta Tom. That's crazy. 20 months as a member, my dude. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. That is wild. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one right there. Popping them and dropping them already. So we're 656 kills into this grind now. By the end of today, we should be at 800 minimum. Definitely over 800, I would say. So we're hitting that range where we start getting into like our average grind length. Ah, didn't make it. So maybe we're close. Maybe we're close. What's up, Zillow? How's it going? Hey, Flixers. I don't really add anybody on my Steam, uh, Phase Killer. Because if I had one person, I'll have a bunch of other people asking me to add them too. And I, I try to keep my Steam friends list to just like my uh, friends that I play games with. What's up, Metal Man? If we get a super rare today, I'll re-download Discord. <laughs> That's an interesting, uh, an interesting ultimatum, Metal Man. <laughs> What's up, uh, Natalie? What's up? I'm doing good, Leo. I'm doing good. Any tips on how to get a diamond? Uh, yeah, just hunt near water. That's the biggest thing, because if you're hunting near water, you'll be hunting around, like, drink zones, which will make it so you'll see more animals more easily. And then I also recommend checking out some of the guides I've got on the channel. I have guides that teach you how to get more diamonds. So that would also be quite helpful, probably. Going to be a great one day because it's the weekend. True. True, true, true. It is Friday. Friday's not really the weekend, but it's like the start of the weekend, kind of, because everybody's getting off work, and then they know that the rest of the weekend, they've got off. Oh my gosh, CJO the Hunter with the five gifteds. Look at this, dude. It's just coming through dropping five gifteds. Thank you, CJO. Congrats to CJ, Emil, Logan, Pickles, and I'm him for getting those gifteds. Be sure to say thank you to CJO. He's an absolute legend. Boom. Got a gold deer today. Nice, boys. Nice. Fishing boy, thank you for the super chat, dude. Hello. Hello to you, too, man. Hello to you, too. Hope you're doing good today. Hope you're doing quite well. No power with high winds here at my home today in Michigan, so watching with my phone. Ooh, that's rough, man. Hopefully the uh, power pops back on soon. That's a weird deer. All right, no worries, Metal Man. Do what you got to do, brother. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's, oh my God. Oh, I'm doing good, Jonas. I'm doing good. Hopefully, you're doing good, too. Hopefully, you're doing good as well, man. There's one of them. There's the other one. So any near my house right now, everything's falling. I hope my power doesn't go out. Yeah, that sounds rough, man. Seems like a lot of people are having storms and stuff right now. Crazy. Well, we're gonna have to wait for those to turn around. They're being stubborn. What's up, Optifur? I hope you're doing good as well, man. What's up, Colby? Probably could get 100 by the end of the year. Uh, it depends on when they drop a new great one. Because, like, 
There's only so much grinding I can do on these same old great ones that we've hunted a million times. I really need them to just drop a new update with a great one in it, man. Like, and also drop an accuracy update to fix Scarecrow's aim. Because <laughs> that was bad. That was really bad. Nice thumbnail. I'm glad you like it, dude. Glad you like it. What's up, fishing boy? 251. Didn't make it. It had a chance, but not quite. Got a piebald level one pronghorn. Nice, Natalie. Nice. I'm doing good, Dana. I'm doing good. Please, typical. That's what I've been saying for years at this point, uh, Captain. Please, please, typical. And then every single time, it's not the typical. One of these days, it will be, though. We just got to keep up hope, you know? Oh, nice, Optifur. Hopefully you get it. Hopefully you track that bad boy down. Nice, Emil. Those things are rare. I still don't have an albino red fox, let alone a level 8 one. No bucks here. Oh yeah, fishing boy, I can believe it. I know a couple people that got one as their first. <laughs> What's up, Zachy? Second I see the any 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 type of like New England thing in the name, I immediately know it's Zachy. <laughs> got my first super air fallow deer. It was a pie ball. Nice Haven, that's awesome. few bucks there. Almost didn't get him. Oh my gosh. Uh, Fishing Boy, thank you for the super chat, dude. Much appreciated. Why do you use the 300 for Whitetail? Because it kills them quicker. That way I don't have to track them as often. Like if I make a bad shot with the 300, they're still going to die pretty quick. And even with the 308 and a good shot, a lot of times they run. With a 300 and a good shot, they don't run at all. They just drop on the spot, which saves a lot of tracking time. And when you're in the middle of a grind, you want to save as much time as you can so that you can just kill animals quicker and quicker. So that's why I use it. Nice, Bonstow. All right, no worries, fishing boy. This bear grind is rough. 2,632 kills, 9 diamonds, 30 trolls, and 6 rares. 30 trolls! Oh my gosh, dude. I have i don't think I've ever heard of somebody having 30 trolls and only 9 diamonds for bears. That's crazy. That must be the unluckiest grind in the entire world, man. Hopefully you get it soon, dude. That's That's brutal. Bears hate me. Hey, that's how I felt too. That first 8,300 kill grind was just absolutely soul crushing, man. I feel ya. It's rough. Favorite great one? Definitely the moose. Definitely the moose. What's up, Arium? Holy crap. Optifur, thank you for the tier one sub. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. 
I really appreciate that, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I got to test something out real quick. Because Windows had an update, and I forgot to check this. Let's see if adjusting the volume on my desktop mutes it for the stream. It does. Okay, so they didn't fix that. Because essentially, I think I explained this uh, about two weeks ago when it first happened, but Windows had an update, and it messed up the way the audio was working with OBS and Streamlabs. It essentially was making, like, Streamlabs is supposed to completely ignore, like, uh, you turning your desktop volume down. And sometimes when there's a Windows update, it just completely breaks it. And usually after a couple more Windows updates, then it'll start working again. But not this time around. It's still, whenever I change the volume on my desktop, it's still changing it for OBS. So that's unfortunate. I don't know, Pickles. I don't know, man. The best thing to do is to never try to force something and just do what feels right. Do what feels right and do what you want to do. Never try to, like, base your, your posts off of what other people are, like, telling you to do. Because the way you build an audience is to just be yourself. Just be yourself. And, you know, always try to improve on what you do. And at the end of the day, just be a good person, you know? What's up, Rez? I'm starting a moose grind. Should I stack my main zones first and go looking around for, like, other zones? Or should I stack the main zones while I look for other zones? Yes, you should stack the main zones while you look for other zones. Keep in mind, stacking is just like an optional way to speed up the herd management process a little bit. What you should be doing is you should always be you should always be looking for new zones while you're grinding, right? Because, or at least at the beginning, because who who knows if like the zones that you've currently found are your best zones? So I would definitely be like continuing to look for new zones while you're trying to shoot down some and uh, stack in others. Fishing guy, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Will you do a collaboration with KG? Probably not because he's never responded to my email. So I, it's pretty unlikely I'll ever collab with KG. Not because I don't want to, but because I just don't think it's going to be possible. But hey, if it can work out, I'll do it, you know. Just a tough thing to get situated. For the most part in the YouTube space, it's pretty difficult to do collabs with larger creators because most larger creators don't necessarily want to collab with smaller creators because there's nothing for them to gain out of it. You know, their channels are a, a lot bigger, so collabing with a small channel doesn't really do them any good. So unfortunately, most people will not do too many collabs with channels that are smaller than them. I've always tried my best to just do collaborations with people that I like and people that I have fun with. I personally don't really care too much about channel size of the people I'm collaborating with. As long as they're people that I get along with and people that I like, you know. Did I miss a new membership renewal? I did. H the Builder, thank you for the membership, dude. Good luck on the typical rack. I'm beginning to realize that my 18 solo fallow zones are going to take way too much to manage down. Um, any tips for this? Ah, oh, man. See, this is why I always recommend managing the solos first. 
because if you manage them first, then you don't have to worry about them being difficult to manage down. So, I would recommend, uh, to be honest, just do your best to get them to go as low as you can. Like, for example, uh, since you've already got this far in your grind, and it's at a point where it's difficult to get any more managed down, you have a couple options. One, you could stack like 10 diamonds in your main zones, and then go try to shoot down the solos. Or, another alternative is you could try to just get those solos to be threes. Like, of any size. Just so they're not fours, you know? Like, just try to make sure there's no solo fours. That's, like, the minimum I would recommend trying to do. Because, yeah, it can be tough once you've got... A lot of the map managed down. If you've got solo still, yeah, it can, it can be brutal. Go to Moose for a while. Fallow will seem easy. True. True. <laughs> Moose do make Fallow Deer seem easy to manage. Uh, yes, Emil, there is. Right now, the legendary fish in the angler for Golden Ridge is Sidewinder. And he's in a pretty easy spot this week. Okay, nothing there once again. Should probably change the time. Bennett, thank you for the super chat. Can we maybe play sometime? Um, probably not, man. Unless I do like a community, like a community, uh, like multiplayer session. Because uh, the thing is, if I, I, I don't really have enough time to play like one on one with people off stream because, I mean, I'm a father. I've got stuff to do around the house, and in the time that I'm not doing that, I'm making videos, or I'm, you know, streaming and stuff like that, editing. So I don't really get a lot of time to just, like, hop on with people and play. And if I do it on stream, then I have a bunch of other people in the chat asking me why I'm playing with that person instead of playing with them. And it, you can understand how that can get, like, tough to, to navigate. I do appreciate the super chat, though. And if you see me in multiplayer, feel free to hop in, you know. Because I do pop into multiplayer every once in a while for videos. And occasionally on streams as well. Big two. Man. I, I just can't believe we haven't had a rare in like a thousand kills almost. It's been almost a thousand kills since we got a rare. That's crazy, man. What is our luck right now? One thing I love about grinding in this game is that you never know when you're going to get a great one. On my first grind for Fallow, lasted about 4,000 kills. My latest one only lasted 15 kills. Yeah, it's it's wild. That's what keeps them interesting. Like, that's what keeps the great ones so interesting. And it's the reason that people like myself and I buy premium still enjoy grinding for great ones after, you know, 74 great ones myself, over 150 for him, like... It, it's the reason that people like us still like grinding for great ones. Because you never get tired of the feeling. It never gets old. Especially with how much variety the great ones have nowadays. Like, it's almost impossible to collect every fur and rat combo for a lot of them. Really keeps it interesting. There's nothing here. Wow. Nothing at that zone. All right. Uh, Fishing Boy, thank you so much for the super chat. Won't it help the smaller YouTuber? What do you mean? Ooh, that's a big three. I'm not sure what you're referencing. Let me scroll up. Are you referencing the guy asking if, he, if I could play with him? No, that's not, that's not what I mean by smaller YouTubers, right? Like, what, what I meant was, 
when I do collaborations, I, I'm not looking at... Um, wait. No, I'm... Oh, no, that's not what you meant. Uh, I'm not sure what you meant. That You might have to explain it in the chat. But thank you for the super chat. I do appreciate it. But yeah, you'll probably have to explain it in the chat because I'm not 100% sure what you were referencing. Oh, my God. Let's see what this guy scores. He looks big. Boom! 270. Collaboration. Yes, collaborations do help smaller YouTubers, definitely. They definitely do. Uh, it may not be like a massive amount, but in the moment, it does help out a little bit. It can give people like a little boost. It's, it can show people like uh, new creators. Overall, though, oddly enough, a lot of times collab content does not do that well. Because a lot of people sub to channels just to see that one person play. Like most of the time, if I do a collaboration video... Um, if I title, if I put it in the title that it's a collab, it usually way less people watch it for some reason. I've never really understood why. So a lot of times when I do a collaboration video, I don't even tell anybody that it's a collab. Oh, you think he meant why the bigger YouTubers won't collaborate with smaller ones? Yeah, uh, well, this is, th yeah, yeah, what I meant by that is, yes, it does help out the smaller YouTubers, but it doesn't really help out the bigger YouTuber in the situation, which is why it's hard to land collabs with larger creators, because depending on the, like, mindset of the person you're trying to collab with, sometimes they just don't want to collab with smaller creators because there's nothing for them to gain out of it. There's nothing for, like, the larger creator to gain. I don't go about my collabs that way, though. Like, I, I will collab with anybody as long as I like that person, as long as I've got to know them and I think they're a good person, you know? But yeah, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of creators that don't do stuff with smaller creators. And I'm also not talking about the Call of the Wild space. I'm talking about YouTube as a whole, like the entire platform. Like uh, you'll you'll see you'll see like YouTubers with millions and millions of subs, and like it's very rare that they collaborate with anybody that only has like a couple hundred k, unless it's somebody that they've become friends with. Not specifically talking about Call of the Wild. I just wanted to make that clear. Yeah, Brober Crow said he stink. Nah, we love Brober here. Yeah, as you guys have probably noticed about me, I just I just collaborate with people that I have fun with. Which is why I do tons of collab streams and stuff with Nate and Caitlin and Brobra, CJO. Like they're all smaller creators, but I absolutely love playing games with them. And I've been friends with him for a very long time. Haven't spawned a rare Fallow in almost 1,700 kills. But I do have two great ones currently on the map. Jeez, man. That's a dry streak and a half for rares. That, I think that beats my biggest dry streak for rare whitetail. I went like 1,500 kills without a rare whitetail once. What's up, Cussing Raven? How's it going? Play with Lady. Lady and I will definitely do stuff in the future, for sure. We've been trying to work out, like, collaborate, collaborative projects. Just going to be a matter of time. Because we've done stuff in the past, and we definitely want to get some more stuff done in the future. Also, holy crap, I forgot. I got to go back. David, thank you for the 43 freaking months, dude. 43 months as a member is crazy. And thank you for the super chat, Sir David. Really appreciate it. Oh, that's a big boy three. Oh, yes. Got many women babies before baby. Got many men and they wishing to be me. Scarecrow once said this during a voice chat. Did I? 
I don't remember that. <laughs> oh, man, David, it's good to have you back. Hope you're doing good, man. Hope you're doing good. We have missed seeing your wild super chat messages. <laughs> Oh, that's got put on the back burner, friends. Uh, it was just a bad time to do it because of the uh, the update with the weapon pack. We picked a poor time to do it, so it's going to happen later. That's a dime. Let's go. Let's go. Dime two of the day. Alexi, thank you for the two months. Let's get a great one today. I believe in you, 10 Fabled. We got this. We got this. Thank you, Alexi. I really appreciate that. Another three. The thickest of the males are popping up right now. Please spawn a rare. Please get a rare. If we can get a rare to spawn right now, there will be a pretty solid chance of it being a three with how many threes we've seen pop up. Oop, Zillow redeemed a moderator pull over on which? Let me get that going. Let me get that going real quick, my dude. What do you want the pull to be, uh, Zillow? What should the pull on Twitch be? You choose? Okay, I'll choose then. Um, I got a good poll. There we go. I'll do the poll on YouTube as well. That way the YouTube people can get a get a vote into. There you guys go, Chad. Be sure to vote on it. Let me know how you feel. Because I tell you what, I'm getting kind of bored waiting for the new map. I am definitely getting bored. And I can tell the community, for the most part, seems to be getting bored waiting for the new map. There is a lot less people watching Call of the Wild content right now. And I don't blame them. There's not really, uh, we haven't really had anything super crazy since, I guess, the Retriever release. And that wasn't, like really my cup of tea another diamond love to see it what do you mean uh fishing boy what do you mean what happened Genu genuinely think it's getting tiresome yeah it's just man we need uh we need more man we need more stuff Honestly, you know what I think Call of the Wild needs to do in the future? They need to do more small updates in between the big updates. Like, instead of packaging a bunch of things into one update like they always do, like, there's so many times where we get, like, a great one and a map at the same time. Why not release a map right like release a new map and then one month later release a new great one or two months later release a new great one i feel like that would be so much better than releasing them at the exact same time like they could do a pattern like map great one weapon pack map great one weapon pack i feel like that would work out so much better with like keeping things fresh because like a lot of times when they release a great one and a new map at the same time you either grind for the great one when it first releases or you play the new map and it's hard to do both 
No, nah, there's no way they could make Call of the Wild crossplay. The game just wasn't built that way. They'd have to do so much work to make it crossplay, man. It would probably cost a lot of money to do that. And to be honest, it might take years to implement something like that into the game. So I doubt they'll ever do cross platform. It's probably not feasible with the game, to be honest. I know, right, A-Rod? We gotta get that typical rack, man. That'll get us to be interested again. Yo, what's up, lady? How's it going? What's up, Johnny? Would be way better been wanting them to do that for forever. Makes way more sense to have staggered releases. I know, it just... I wonder why they don't do that. They've got to have a reason for it, but man, it would just be so much better if we got a new update like every two months instead of like every three to four. Gosh, I'm, I'm just tired of having great ones release at the same time as a map. Because it seems like they always do that. It would be really nice if we could get them separate. That way we can focus on one thing or the other. Got a couple bucks there. But how you doing, lady? I hope you're doing well. My chat was actually just asking when we were going to do that, like, a uh, challenge series that we were going to do. The, uh, like, brand new account challenge. Like, I've just been so busy with stuff that I haven't even, like, thought about figuring out a time for it yet. Because, like, a lot of people that were going to compete have been, like, uh, busy recently. Or, like, having changes of plans. It's going good, Leo. I, it's still Friday for me, but it's going good. Time zones are crazy, man. Life's busy too busy? I know, same. It's just been busy recently. Holy crap, man. This is the first poll where Twitch and YouTube have been, like, identical on their uh, choices. The Twitch poll ended at 82% of people saying, yes, they're getting bored waiting for a new map. YouTube is currently at 81% yes. <laughs> we need new content. All right, let's see. 122 votes on the YouTube poll. Holy. That's crazy. Oh, really? Really, Zachy? Are you sure? I feel like you're I feel like you're just joking with me. I feel like you're just joking with me, man. There's no way you HM'd your Leighton Lakes Bears that quick. <laughs> Jared, thank you. Oh, my bad. I thought that was a super chat for a second. My brain's just all over the place today. I've been busy like the entire morning and I'm just all over the place. Nothing there again. What's up with our deer? We got a couple zones that are just being like really strange. Oh, past 12. That might be it. Hopefully, Michaela. I, I hope so. Usually they start doing the rollout like a month before release. At least the last couple times they've done it that way. I badly want to see what we got in store though. Uh, no, Purple Frog, they can't. Twenty nineteen was loaded with new content: True Racks, Weapon Pack Two and Three, Yukon, both lodges, Quattro, Tree and Tripod Stands, and the massive bug patch that removed consecutive harvest from mattering from the score. Jeez, that's right, Johnny. Wow, that was a crazy year. We need another year like that in Call of the Wild. 
Honestly, I really hope they start doing like a map every six months again. Because I, I don't necessarily like going an entire year without a map. It's rough. I really hope they consider going back to the old schedule. Oh, yeah, V-Roy. That's how it is, man. That's usually how it is, like, in between major updates. You know, you can only play so much before you get bored with the content that we have at our fingertips. For sure, lady. Like, it's really rough for content creators not having... Um two maps a year like only getting one map a year is quite rough and it's also just rough for the players that have been playing for a long time it's rough for hardcore players like the core community because you know us that you know watch the youtube stuff watch twitch hang out in the discords like those are all the people that play the game all the time and when we go a long time without an update i think those are the players that are affected the most because they've already played all the content in the game I don't think the long breaks in between maps hurt necessarily the casual players that much. Like the people that don't watch YouTube or go in Discord. The people that just pop on for a couple hours a day. Like I don't think it affects them that much because they still have lots of content to, to play on with the current game, the current state of the game. But it's definitely rough for the hardcore players. What time do you set your time to start hunting deer? I set it for 11. Because I found that the last hour of the drink time is always like the best hour. Like they get to their zone so quick in the last hour. And in a lot of cases, like if they're not at their zones, I'll just keep resetting the time till they show up. And if you reset it earlier in the time, they typically are like less likely to be there in my experience than if you set it to the last hour. It gets expensive doing that, but... Oh, Twitch isn't 18 plus, uh, N. Is what? How do I pronounce your name? N-I-C-M? Yeah, Twitch isn't 18 plus. Twitch is just, Twitch is 13 plus. Um, it's just that Twitch, like, that platform usually has a lot more, like, cussing and stuff like that, you know? So a lot of people use Twitch as their, like, more adult stream platform. I use my second YouTube channel for that, and actually, I kind of use Twitch for that, too. I, I stream on Twitch at the same time I stream to the second channel. So I guess I kind of use Twitch as my 18-plus uh, platform. <laughs> Pause. That actually sounded bad. You guys know what I mean. I cuss on there. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> no response here, either. What's the closest I've had something troll? I have had... I think it was a black bear that was 0 0.01 below diamond. And then I had a melanistic white tail that was 0 0.03 below diamond before. So I've had a couple that were really, really close to making it, but didn't. I know, right, Ronnie? It makes no sense. <laughs> it makes no sense. Oh, man. What's the most amount of money you've ever seen someone have in Call of the Wild? <sighs> Legitimately? Like, not counting the people that cheated in? Um, Gosh, I think my brother's got, like, 40 million or 50 million or something crazy on his Xbox account. Johnny, you're still in the stream, right? How much money do you have on your Xbox account? I know it's an absurd amount. Map's getting revved up for a great one? Maybe. You might be right. Our map has been acting weird, and that usually happens before a great one. Not guaranteed, though. Yeah, there's no respawns at, like, half of these zones. Crazy, man. 
What advice do you have for people who are struggling to be successful on YouTube and Twitch? Uh, be consistent. Always be trying to improve. And don't try to copy anyone else. Always be yourself. And do lots of research. Research is such a huge part of making it on YouTube. Like, the more you understand about how YouTube's algorithms work and, like, the best practices with thumbnails, titling, uh, descriptions, tagging, the more you learn about all that stuff, the easier it will be to have stuff uh, take off on YouTube. So I would recommend just doing some research on YouTube. Type in, like, how to start a YouTube channel in 2023 or 2024 now, I guess. Gosh, 2024 is, we're already four months into it. It's crazy. It feels like it was just 2023. I have one more question about Moose HM. Once I find all my zones and have chosen the ones I want to grind, should I only focus on those zones, get them stacked up, then focus on shooting down the other zones that I don't want to use? No, that I do not recommend doing it that way. Um, if you're grinding Moose with HM, I recommend that as you're finding zones, you need to be shooting them as you're finding the zones. Because, like, it takes time to figure a zone out and like figure out if you want to make it your main zone so like as you're finding the zones be shooting moose out of them shoot the male moose out of them because then like as you're hunting as you revisit them you'll see which ones consistently get respawns which ones don't consistently get respawns you'll be able to see like which ones are were solos just by them not coming back and then like as you're doing that you can decide like okay i want to i like this zone a lot I'm going to start leaving any big males that spawn in it. And you can also decide, like, when a low level spawns, you can start leaving them as you're still finding more zones. It saves a lot of time if you're hunting as you're finding your zones, in my personal opinion. Just remember, there's no right way to do HM, but that's the way I like doing it. Oh, you have 39.9 million on Xbox, Johnny? That's ridiculous. That's crazy. That is absolutely insane. No buck here again. Crazy, dude. The same here, lady. Like, I did a good bit of research, but I honestly think I built my channel primarily off of just posting a video every single day and doing a stream every single day for the first uh for the first like year of my channel and then i also did get pretty lucky early on where like when i first started doing youtube it was kind of when they were doing the uh the easter egg beta hunt for the great one whitetail when they first added the great one whitetail in i got into youtube right when that happened and so i was like Constantly hunting the whitetail. I was reporting news like as fast as I could on it. And like when when the first great one whitetail was shot, like I posted a video on it so quickly. And I got lucky enough that Flinter ended up sharing it. And that helped out my channel a lot in the early days. Like I had built a small audience, but Flinter sharing that video, it, it made me gain like four or five hundred subs in like a very short period of time. So that kind of kickstarted things for me. To be honest, like, YouTube, there's a lot of luck to it. There's a lot of luck, you know. Obviously, the more you know about it, you can use that to your advantage to, to help you out. So it is partially skill-based in growing a channel, but there is a lot of luck involved as well. I remember that video because you said it was an Easter egg in the game. Yeah, because it was around Easter time. And so they just called it like an Easter an Easter egg hunt. And yeah, it was it was pretty fun. It was really fun. Oh yeah, Flinter's a great dude. Flinter is a really good dude, man. Like, even though me and him don't really do any collaborations anymore and we don't really believe the same way in terms of, like, how to play Call of the Wild, even though we don't believe the same way, we still are, like, we're still, like, perfectly fine friends, you know? Like, we still talk every once in a while. 
Because Flinter is, in general, just a really good dude. He's a really good dude. He's really easy to get along with. He's really understanding. Yeah, I agree. He is a good dude. There's a reason that he's respected by so many people in the community. Flinter doesn't grind, I'm pretty sure. No, he grinds. He just doesn't grind with herd management. No great ones while I'm eating my pizza rolls, okay? Uh, I cannot promise anything. No bucks here, though. Wow. Maybe we are going to get a great one soon. Things are looking weird. We're getting some strange happenings with our deer. Now, it's not a sure sign of a great one, but this does happen a lot of the times when a great one's about to spawn. Hey, we got bucks there. These two need to die, including that in level one, because he's a new one. Still really debating adding a new zone to my grind. Sounds about right, Zacky. <laughs> Sounds about right, man. Possible great one incoming? Maybe, Jenna. Also, how you doing? Hope you're doing good. What camo am I using? I'm using... I believe it's the chrome. It's like a, a silver camo. I don't remember what pack it comes with. It might have been one of the limited time ones. Because there's a lot of skins that were like limited edition holiday stuff. Yeah, fishing boy. There's so many ways you can do HM. That's one of the like best parts about it is you don't really have to go super crazy with it if you don't want to. You can really take it to any level you want. Oh, I'm doing good, Jenna. Doing good. Spent the morning with the family. Going around, shopping, getting some stuff for outside for the summer. Little stuff like that. Now, we're shooting some whitetail. And talking about the state of Call of the Wild right now and stuff like that. I pretty much just listen to rap, Leo. That, that's basically it. I don't mind metal either. Like, I'll listen to metal if it's on, but it's not something I, like, actively seek out. But I don't mind it either. Oh, really, Plague? <laughs> Interesting, man. How'd that end up happening? I Scarecrow, I've got three great one white tail and less than 750 kills, and I was wondering if I was just really lucky or is my herd management just that good? Um, I grind Light and Lakes on PS5. Um, it, it could be either. It could be that your HM's just really good, or it could be luck. Could be a combination of both. Um, how often are you getting diamonds? Because that'll that'll tell me how far your HM is. I notice the most like noticeable increase in uh, great ones when I've got my herd management to a point where I get a diamond every like 10 to 15 kills. Like whenever I get a grind to that point, I very consistently pop great ones like every few hundred kills on most of the grinds. How do you get a great one? Just by shooting the males of the species that you want to get a great one of. There's only five great ones in the game right now. We've got the um, moose, fallow deer, we've got the white-tailed deer, black bear, and red deer. It's a type of music, uh, NICM. It's a type of music. It's similar to rock. It's like a more extreme version of rock, pretty much.
Not gonna lie, Merle, I don't think Brobra's too worried about anything else right now aside from his newborn child. I I don't think Brobra's paying attention to sports at all. Because his, uh, his baby boy was just born a couple of days ago. You're calling Big Rack? Ah, oh, gosh. Uh, imagine we get another Big Rack. I would not be surprised, though. Seems like it's all I get. I'm starting HM for Red Deer. Great one. I recently started stacking males at two need zones. Should I just go in between the two lakes and kill the top two or go between my other need zones as well? Um, I'd recommend hunting all the other zones that you still need to shoot down while you're trying to stack. I always find it good to try and multitask. Get, like, uh, multiple things done at once. I would probably recommend checking out some of my HM videos on my YouTube channel, Reaper. Because, like, in the videos, I go into a lot more depth. Holy crap, we got Super Chats coming in. Thank you for the Super Chat, Garrett. Really appreciate it. How many moose do you shoot per run? I think it's, like, ten? I think I only shoot, like, ten of them. And Iris, thank you for the super chat as well. Should I shoot sixes and up in my croc grind? Uh, I'd probably shoot fives and up because I think crocs go clear to level one or two. They can get pretty small. What's my favorite food? Pizza, because there's so much you can do with it. There's so many different types of pizza that it's definitely my favorite. Oh, yes, that's, oh my gosh. <laughs> Trust. I don't know if I want to switch to Revlon Thule for Whitetail Cohen. I might do it one of these days just to like uh, switch oh, things up, but... Yes, that's, oh my gosh. Right now, I kind of just want to keep grinding Layton, because I've already got it set up and I'm used to it. No, there is no great one duck, sadly. How many whitetail do you kill each run? Uh, between 15 and 20. There's about like 20 or 22 shootable bucks at any given time for me, but I, I rarely am able to get all of them in a run because there's always a few that dart off before I make the shot. That'd be insane, Nick. I would love that. That'd be so cool. Would it be cool if you had to tag animals? Like, what do you mean by tag animals? Like, actually put the tag on it after you kill it? Like you would in real life? I'm assuming that's what you're talking about. I mean, it would be a cool type of, like, little realism thing. I don't know if it would fit Call of the Wild, though. Because I think the most, uh, for the most part, the people that play Call of the Wild play it because it's an easier hunting game to get into, you know? It's not as, it doesn't have as high of a barrier to entry as games like Way of the Hunter or the Hunter Classic do. Like, those games, they require a lot more patience. Call of the Wild's like a very easy to pick up and play type of game that anybody can play with any skill level. And so I don't know if it fits this game, but... Yeah, I could definitely see a game like Way of the Hunter being able to implement tagging without it uh, being too detrimental to, like, the gameplay. Honestly, the Hunter Classic, it would fit even better. There was, like, a pretty popular game that used to require you to have tags in order to kill bucks and does, right? It was the old Deer Hunter games. Ooh, that's a big boy. Stuff like Deer Hunter, you know, 3, Deer Hunter 4, 5, 2004, 2005. Like, all the old Deer Hunter games required you to use tags. And it was always quite... They were, they were always quite fun games to play. I really like the old Deer Hunter games. Not the, uh, not the mobile ones, but the PC ones. 
The old Deer Hunter games on PC were some of the best OG hunting games like ever made. At the time, they were so much better than uh, than the Cabela's games. Even though the Cabela's games were a lot of fun too. 272, let's go. Not too bad of a buck. The other one we did not hit vitally, though. I right, later, Lilo. Oh, it does, Merle. Interesting. I forgot about that. I forgot Hunting Sim 2 did that. Couple males there. Is he going to be behind the tree too much? Yep. Yep. He also glitched out and moved <laughs> as I shot. Ooh, but we sure got him. We got him good right after. Uh, yeah, that, that emote means gold. AU is the, isn't it the periodic symbol for gold? That's kind of what I was going for with that emote. Because AU means gold and the emote is gold colored. That is what I was going for with it. Yeah, there it is, Aiden. We love it. We love it. I love gold great ones. <laughs> oh, man. Would you say six bears are enough to great one grind? Now, do you mean six in total or is or, or do you have like six left over after you've managed your map? Or are you not doing herd management and you just want to know? Ah, yes, and I see him. My codex is completely borked because of the bugged updates they had, like, what, three years ago? I think it was, like, three years ago. Oh, oh I thought it was a great one. I thought he was a great one. Oh, it's a... Dude, 272 minimum? Wait, 272 minimum? Oh, my gosh, that's a tank. That is a tank right there. Holy crap, a 272 minimum estimate. I've never seen an estimate on a whitetail go up to 313. Holy crap. Bro, what? Could that be our 275? Ooh, he moved as I was about to shoot. Ah, missed. Missed. We missed. We killed the big guy, though. We got the big one. That's all that really matters. Yeah, I'm going to say it's going to be 274.30. That's my prediction. 274.30. Yep, just stay there for me. What a smart deer. Uh, might not be. I'm going to I'm going to stick with 274. 274. Let's go. 27441. It's not a 275, but it's 27441. That's a big boy. That's worth taxing right there. That's a taxable deer. We're going to tax him. Look at that. Max weight as well. That is the biggest buck we've had this entire grind. You love to see it, man. Holy crap. That's so cool. That is so cool. You love to see these giants like this. Absolute beast. 
Yeah, guys, that was really close to being 275 plus. What's up, Tony? How's the Tony Meister doing? Hope you're doing great, my dude. New the game, so please explain why you don't kill the low levels when herd managing. Oh, so we're doing like a very advanced grinding method, Toxic. It called herd management. Essentially, the game seems to work off of like a balancing system of sorts. So if there is a lot of low levels on the map of a species, uh, the game seems to spawn more large animals with the remaining ones. So like, let's say you have a hundred whitetail bucks on your map. Obviously, that's not the actual number of whitetail bucks on the map. That's just an example. But let's say there's a hundred whitetail bucks on the map. If 70 of them are level ones, the remaining 30 are going to spawn as diamonds and like high scoring level twos much more often than if you had only like 30 level ones and 70 level twos on your map, you know? It's like the game trying to make up for the large amount of low levels. But I honestly don't recommend doing herd management if you're new to the game. Because there's so much other things like to learn in the game before thinking about going into like hardcore grinding methods and stuff. But at the end of the day, you know, it's your game, you bought it, so do what you want. Couple deer there. What's up, CJ? Uh, yes, Arthur. For moose, you would want to leave twos and then level ones as well. And for my moose grind, I also left the level threes that had the same antlers as the level two because they score the same. How can you tell if a server's hacked? Uh, there's a couple ways. If the host of the server has a level above 60, that is impossible without cheats. So if you get into a server and the host of the server has a level above 60, that's a pretty good indicator that it's probably a modded server. Oh, give me a second, guys. We got a bot problem on Twitch. There we go. Blink, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Much appreciated, man. Oh, he moved! No, 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 no. Scarecrow, breathe, aim! There we go! All I had to do was calm down. <laughs> But thank you for the super chat, Blink. Get two super airs and 30 kills, one piebald fallow, and two second a melanistic fallow. Is that lucky? That's very lucky, yes. That is like crazy luck. That's like the luckiest you could get. I've never even got two super airs within 30 kills of each other. The closest I've had super airs was like maybe 300 or 400 kills apart. Oh, gotcha, Toxic. Gotcha. I'll have to look into that. Aussie Kid, thank you for the 15 months, dude. Welcome back. Um, for, for bears, Alan, I would recommend if you're managing your bears down, you want to manage down everything aside from, like, preferably 10 bears. If you can have 10 bears to shoot after you manage them down, then that's probably... The best way to go. I'd have 10 bears as your main shooters and then manage down the rest of them. Also to clarify, because I'm I'm not 100% sure by the wording of your message, but 
if you're thinking about only hunting six bears and only managing those down, that will not work because it's based off your entire map. You have to manage the entire population of male bears. Uh, but if you're asking if you can just keep six and then manage the other like 40 or 50 or 60 or however, however many bears there is, then yeah, you could try to get it to where you only have six shooters left, but that'd be very tough. I'd try to get it to where you have 10 left. Hopefully that helps you out, Alan. What's up, Hostetler? I think he means level six bears. No, no, no. He was asking if six bears is enough to great one grind. He was definitely talking about the amount of bears. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, that deer looking a little weird from the side. That was a weird looking deer. How's it going, Shade? Hope you're doing well, my dude. <laughs> Look at that. This dude has had a rough day. You can tell. This poor deer. What happened to you, sir? What happened to you? That's wild. Ooh, nice, Indominus. Love to see it, man. Nah, I'm not going to tax it. I don't have the room in my lodges to do that. I'm at a point with my lodges where nothing I tax will have a space in my lodge unless it's better than something already in one of the lodges. So I don't really tax the wonky ones anymore. Unless they're just so absurd looking that I have to. Another three. Gosh, man, not a single rare in well over a thousand kills now. This is actually kind of wild. What's up, Drawn? How you doing, man? Hope you're having a fantastic day. And JC as well. What's poppin', JC? Keep having dreams of Great One Bears versus a chestnut on a map that doesn't even have bears, then a spotted and a glacier two bear in the same zone. Man, those Call of the Wild dreams are getting you, dude. I've had some Call of the Wild dreams in the past as well. Mainly during the time where I was doing those, like, 6 to 10 hour streams grinding. That's when I had the most dreams about Call of the Wild. Because I was literally, like, doing it all day. <laughs> hey, Hunter Legend, you missed a few diamonds, including a 274 diamond. Which was amazing to get. He'll count 758. Would I rather have a Mela Super Rare or the typical rack? Or an Albino Super Rare? Um, the typical rack. I'd rather have a typical rack than any Super Rare. Just because, I mean, I've got Super Rare Whitetail. I don't have any, like, giant Super Rare Whitetail, but I've still got some, you know? I don't have a typical rack, though. So I would take that over a Super Rare any day, just because of how long I've been grinding for it without getting it. Like, at this point, it's just... The typical rack is becoming something I feel like I'll probably never get, but I'm still going to try. A 274 Mela or a typical? Ooh, that's a tough one. That's a really tough one, actually, because... See, a 274 or a 275 Super Rare would probably be, like, one of the rarest Whitetail you could get, aside from an Ultra Rare. That would be a tough one. I don't know if I'd be able to decide, man. Ah, 
man, in that case, I'd probably take a 274 Mela over a typical rack. Just because that is such a rare trophy. Like, even more rare than the typical rack is. So if I could only have one, I probably would take the 274 Mela. Now, if it was a 275 Mela, then I wouldn't even have to think about it. That would just be an instant yes. I wonder if I'll ever get a 270 plus rare. That's like one of the bucket list trophies for Whitetail for me that I still don't have. Uh, Double Dutch, thank you for the super chat, dude. Would killing female bears to get them in new drink time help keep my males from bouncing from lake to lake so much? Um, I'm not sure because I haven't had any problems with my males jumping from lake to lake. They're still going to the same places they always used to go, even with them being the only bears in the new time. So I, I don't know if shooting the females would help you out there. If your males are bouncing around a lot, it's probably... It's either the lakes that you're hunting, because obviously I don't know which lakes you're hunting. It's either just like the places that you're shooting them from. Or maybe the females were not in a good place before the changes happened. That's a possibility. Thank you, Ace. I appreciate that. Hope you're doing good, Ace. Couple little fellers. Would you rather have an albino bear or albino alligator? Definitely the albino alligator. I like the albino gators a lot. And I've only got one of them my whole time playing. The mustier scored 257. Nice, dude. I can't remember what diamond is, so I'm not sure if that made it or not for you. I'm like an hour a mil. Around an hour, give or take a few minutes. You know, I'm kind of tempted to go shoot some bears for a little bit. I'll put up a pole. Let's take down the old pole. Let's put up a new pole. I'm just going to do this poll on YouTube since that's where the majority of people are viewing right now. There. Oh, I do, Caleb. I do exclusive polls on both platforms. Don't worry. I do. I'm just lazy right now. <laughs> I'm just lazy right now, and I don't want to set it up twice. That's a two. Is Melamoose a thing? Yes, it is. It is. Well, so far, out of the options of more whitetail, bears, or fallow deer, bears is winning by a good bit. No, we can't do moose because I'm not set up for moose. I'd have to take two hours to break down all my tents and tripods that we're using right now for whitetail and then go around the map and set them back up at my moose zones. So I can't do moose right now. It'd take like one to two hours to set everything up again. And then I have to spend a couple hours to reset back up for whitetail because we still, you know, want to get that typical rack. Uh, no, fellow and white tail drink a little bit different times. Um, white tail go from eight to twelve. 
fallow deer go from 10 to 13, I believe. So they're not identical on the times. Well, looks like bears win. Yo, what's up, Caitlin? With the rainbow badge. Hey, Zayden, how's it going? Don't you don't know if you remember me, but I just got a Mela Diamond Moose, a great one, two tone, with a big rack for my moose grind. Nice, Jay Beast. And yes, I do remember you. That is a familiar name. Oh, you got a new monitor? Let's go, Caitlin. Let's go. Finally upgrading from that 60 hertz, I see. You are going to notice a world of difference with a new monitor. I tell you what. Do Fallow flee extra quickly? No, I don't believe so. I think they're the same as Whitetail. I've never had problems with them, like, fleeing faster, at least. Oh, that was a terrible shot on that guy. All right, after we get done with this run, we're going to go to Bears. But you guys got to give me a couple seconds to get finished with this run because I don't want to end it early. Throws me out of my groove if I end on a zone I don't normally end on. Couple nice twos there. You know, since these Whitetail refuse to give us a rare, maybe the Bears will give us a rare. Maybe the Bears will be nice to us. Because these things have been rough. I can't believe it's been over a thousand kills since our last rare white Whitetail. Just ridiculous. Crazy, man. Not even a piebald. And normally piebalds are like every 300 kills. What's up, chicken? I spawned four whitetail in 2,400 kills, but they were all big racks. That is the scarecrow luck right there, chicken. That is my luck always. Like, I get nothing but big racks and cluster racks for, like, 70% of my great ones. They just seem to be really common compared to the others. Super rare bear tonight calling it. I hope you're right. It's been a while since we've had a super rare. Like across all my grinds, it's probably been at least like six, seven thousand kills since we got our last super rare. Maybe more, maybe less. Obviously, I'm just estimating. I'd have to go back and count like uh, count everything to really know. But it's been a while. We haven't had a super rare in quite some time. Even on our super super heavy HM grinds. And floater. All right. Let's go shoot some bears. Let's see if the bears will cooperate. So we ended the white tail for the day at 776 kills. Let's go see if the bears will be nice. So I have not shot a single bear since our last great one bear, which means this is a fresh grind. This is going to be a completely fresh grind. We have zero kills on this grind right here. Which means if we're going to get a great one today, it's going to be like one of the fastest bear grinds we've ever done. Which I'm okay with that. So hopefully we do get one. <laughs> hopefully we do get one. Next kill is probably a great one. Probably, man. That's how it is. Oh, you figured it out, Chip? You figured out how to do the polls? Oh, let's go. Chip figured out how to do the polls as a moderator on uh, Twitch. Let's freaking go, dude. Chip figured it out. Chip the legend. It's going to be at 1,569 kills. Why are you trying to jinx me like that, man? That's just rude. What's up, Liam? How's it going? Hey, Lucas. 
Did I swap loadouts? Yeah, I did. Okay, we're good. We might need a main menu because it was quite past their time. What did you miss? A 274 scoring diamond whitetail and then a few smaller diamonds as well. Ultra rares are definitely like one in three billion or something crazy. I'd say an ultra rare is at least like one in 500,000 kills or something crazy like that. Because, I mean, there's been less than 10 of them found by the community that were le legitimate or probably legitimate. Oh, what the? Hi. Uh, you're not a bear. You're definitely not a bear, but... I mean, I can't say no to that. That might be a diamond. That's crazy. But the bears are being bears, as typical. As usual. That is 199. I guess shooting all those Rocky Elk from the uh, Great One Rocky Elk idea video, I guess it paid off. That's definitely a respawn from that video. <laughs> Amazing. Please tell me this is a Diamond Elk. Uh, I'm going to guess no. Uh, 456. It was big, though. He still looks cool. That's still a really cool-looking elk, man. Look at that. Wow. This dude looks crazy. That's a crazy-looking elk. Yeah, it's wild. I like that. That's a good looking elk. But now for the bears. Wait, actually. No, no, no. I have, I think, three kills on the bear grind because I shot three during the making of that elk video. I just forgot to mark them down. Three bears over there. Holy. Love to see it. Got my first rare elk last night. It was an albino. Nice, Optifur. Let's go, dude. That's awesome. Aggressive. Hey, now. You best be chilling, sir. Yeah, an ultra rare is a great one with a rare fur. That's what an ultra rare is. A great one with a rare fur. You think that the fallow and red deer look the same? No, uh, definitely not. No, definitely not. They're way different. If you're talking about the great one, they're way different. What do you mean, David? What do you mean? Can you get hints? Hints for what? That's, that's such a vague question. I don't, I don't even know what you're wanting hints for. Iris, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Ooh, mythical. Hope you're doing great. 
Great one, bear gonna troll and turn into a mallard. <laughs> never heard of that one before. Hey, you never know. With Call of the Wild, anything's possible. Thank you so much for the uh, super chat. I really appreciate it. I saw another bear in there briefly, like, jump up. Uh, no, Hostetler, I haven't. Imagine two great ones in one day. We've only managed to do it one time. We've only found two great ones in one day, one time. There was another time where we were really close, but we didn't spot the second one till the next day. But they technically spawned the same day, we just didn't shoot them the same day because we didn't see the second one till the very next stream. So technically it's happened twice, but... The one time we just didn't get to see them in the same day. Get six great ones in one day. Sorry, man. I'm not I buy. What's the most great ones I buy has ever gotten one day? Wasn't it like four or something? Maybe more now because he's done a lot of 36 hour streams, which is crazy. Five? Sheesh, man. Crazy. You think three to four? Oh, okay. Three to four. That sounds about right. Thirty-six hours wouldn't be in one day, though. True, but that would mean that he played the entire twenty-four hours of a day, so... Just got Emerald Coast, got two guaranteed diamond initial spawns, a salty and an eastern gray kangaroo. Nice, Joe. That's awesome. Congrats, man. Nothing there. Oh, double bears. Love to see it. Yeah, 36 hours streaming is, is crazy. I could never do that, man. I could never go 36 hours. Back when I was a teenager still, I could easily stay up for 36 hours and play games, but I just can't do that anymore. What is the biggest Rocky Mountain elk? Um, I think the biggest one I've seen from somebody, wasn't it like 520 or 521? I think somebody posted like a 520 in the Discord once, which is ridiculous. I buys a cyborg. Yeah, nobody human could stay up that long. He's definitely got some type of like, uh, some type of cyborg or robotic features or something. The man isn't human. There's no way. Am I streaming tomorrow? Uh, only if I get my recording done before it's too late. Because tomorrow is primarily a recording day. Um, yeah, I think K Buffalo have always gave good money. Yeah, Iris, probably not gonna happen. Probably not gonna happen. No toe cam, I'm sorry. The most you would see is a hand cam. Which I think I will do a hand cam very, very soon. And in fact, I think that's what I'm gonna do for my 200K celebration stream. We're gonna do the hand cam. That way you guys can see all the flicks. See all the crazy flicks on these deer. Ooh, 
I need to do a hand cam for Hophobia as well. I need to do a Hophobia stream with the hand cam. Because I make some pretty nasty flicks in that game. Oh, mild stuff's fine, A-Rod. Chances are, like, um, in terms of, like, cursing in the YouTube chat, if YouTube holds it, it's probably not a good thing to say. Um, if YouTube doesn't hold it, you're probably fine. That's kind of like a good baseline to judge things off of. Do I want to join the Fortnite extravaganza? Wait, are you doing... Oh, aren't you... Oh, you're doing a big Fortnite stream at some point, aren't you? Or am I wrong? Uh, depending on when it is, I could possibly. It's been a few months since I've played, but... DJ and Tony for sure. Okay, if if it's at a time where I can, then yes, I'll join. How was the one deer game I recommended? It's fun, Zachy. It's fun. Oh, deer is surprisingly fun. And it's different enough from Hophobia that it, it, it kind of stands on its own as well. Like it doesn't feel like it's just a copy. It's got a lot of like customizability. There's different game modes. Uh, like the game does feel very different. And it is fun. If you want to check it out, I do have a stream on it on... Or no, did I ever do a stream? No, that's right. I didn't do a stream on it. I didn't do a stream on it on the second channel. I joined Nate and Caitlin for it. And I think Nate was the only one streaming. I do have footage of it. I just need to upload it. I'll probably try to edit that and get it uploaded soon on the second channel. <laughs> Dude, Chip's going wild on the polls over on Twitch, I just realized. <laughs> he, he just had a, a poll up that's like, what's the best taco filling? <laughs> oh, man. 300k do the gritty for five minutes. I, I don't know. I don't know if the world needs to see that. <laughs> I don't know if the world needs to see that. Did I stream it once? I do so many streams, I can't even remember half of them. Let me check the second channel real quick. Oh crap, you're right, I did do it. You're right, I did do it. I guess I was just recording while- Oh, that's right, I did stream it, but I was recording at the same time. That's what it was. It's a really fun game, though, Zaki. And since that uh, stream right there, they've had a lot of updates, it seems, as well, that, like, added some more stuff. Which is pretty cool. So I definitely need to play it again sometime soon. Ten hour gritty stream. You guys are crazy. You guys are crazy sometimes, I gotta say. <laughs> Drop that fool! Uh, the second channel is in the link, a couple message below yours, uh, Hydro. Gave up on the mule deer grind? No. What would make you think that I gave up on the mule deer grind? Just because I haven't done a video on it in a couple of days doesn't mean I gave up on it.
Where do we shoot that one? I think it's... Yeah, there it is. There he is. Legendary Barry I see. Oh, get it, Johnny. Get it. Get that beast down. 12-hour stream for 1 million subs. If I ever hit 1 million subs, I'll do a 24-hour. You have my word. If we somehow hit a million subs in the next few years, I'll do a 24-hour stream. What's the purpose behind the color change tracks, etc.? Um, so if you're talking about just like what's the purpose in general of the tracks and like why they change color, um, there's going to be two colors of tracks that you have at all times, right? When you first start the game, it's white tracks and then I believe blue. The white tracks are, or the blue tracks is the current trail that you're following. The white tracks are from different animals. Uh, whenever you click on a trail, it's going to change to the blue trail. And that way you know that like any of the tracks that are that color are going to be from the same animal. Um, and then you're able to change the colors to your liking in the settings. And in the settings, it's kind of just for fun. It's kind of just to whatever colors you want. I'm colorblind, so they all look the same. Oh, got you. Okay, so yeah, that's that's the only difference between, or like the only purpose for the tracks. It's just like one color shows you the animal you're currently tracking, and the other color is all the other ones. So yeah, I would probably recommend like, I mean, I know if you're colorblind, it's definitely difficult to tell it apart, but I suppose some colors might look like a little darker than others. I don't know like how that works, but I imagine you could change it to like a darker color. Like you can do a really dark blue and that would probably show up better than the light blue. Like, let's see. I'll do it for a second, actually. Because then you can maybe uh, see if there's a difference just on my stream. I put the uh, main tracks as dark blue now. Which should show up as more of like a blackish. I imagine if you're colorblind. Didn't know you could do that, to be honest. Got you. Okay. Yeah, you can, you can tweak it to your liking. So I'm sure there's probably some colors that'll be a little bit easier to differentiate hopefully at least yo what's up mudstud he didn't miss too much aside from one stunning 274 diamond whitetail what's up jebba how you doing it was a troll johnny oh no gotta love those trolls more bears here let's go Yeah, uh, Chip's just messing with me now. Chip is just messing with me with these poles, man. <laughs> yeah, 85 hours in the last two weeks. Let's go, dude. I take it you're enjoying the game then. Do you mess up a grind if you HM multiplayer with friends? No, as long as they know what they're doing, you'll be fine. <laughs> Wait, what? It's nervous, so that's not where it normally drinks. I assume we spooked it off from there. How did that happen? When did we spook him? <laughs> Interesting bear. Interesting bear. Opinion on J. Cole? I think he made a mistake apologizing for that diss. That's my opinion. I don't listen to J. Cole, so... I really don't have a, a strong opinion on him aside from the fact that he made a mistake by apologizing. <laughs> you never apologize for a diss track, dude. You never apologize, because then you've automatically lost. And people are never going to look at you the same way. But he made a huge mistake by doing that. 
I get it. He did it because he didn't feel right about it, but still, like, nobody's ever going to view him the same now. Oh, nice, Logitech. Nice. <laughs> oh, yeah, Zachy. Something tells me you do with that message. <laughs> I was on a fallow grind and my brother joined, started shooting all the zones and destroyed my grind. You don't want to know what happened to him. <laughs> oh, gosh. Poor soul, man. That elk threw me off for a second, not going to lie. I looked at that fur and my first thought was fabled cream bear. Threw me off for a second. No, Lucas, I didn't hear about it. I'd have to look into it. I did not hear about that. I always think Nate has a spirit on his map when I glance at the elk. Same. The elk do kind of throw you off sometimes. Especially if it's, in a, if it's in a spot where you're not used to seeing the elk a lot, like that last zone I was at. Those elk don't show up every single run. And so it does throw me off a little bit when I see them. Yes, I deleted the zone, but I made about 25k from the broken animals. Sounds about right. That's typical Call of the Wild. Ma'am, can I go? I will sh- Oh, oh. I'm gonna say I will shoot you if you don't leave. And I guess she, uh, she left. No bears over there. Oh, actually, I take that back. I lied. There's a bear right there. Yeah, I could see that, Viewer. I could see that. I mean, hey, if it helps him sleep at night, then it's whatever. But yeah, I, I still don't think it was a good career decision for him. <laughs> yeah, Chip. Well... Like I said, Chip, and you know, you worded that stream just, or you worded that uh, poll just cam stream? Technically, I am doing a cam stream soon. I'm doing a hand cam stream. For my 200k celebration, we're going to use the hand cam again. So people can watch the, the flicky flicks, the crazy flicks. Like that right there. I mean, that wasn't super crazy, but you get what I mean. <laughs> Crow's Twitch notification is kind of scary. Click this or you're grounded. Hey, I thought it'd be a funny way to do it. I thought some people would get a laugh out of that. Die, you silly bear. Did I like... Yeah, that was definitely the one that we saw before. I definitely missed him. How did the bullet go through him? That's crazy. Oh, yeah, we're doing the hand cam. Is I buy his great ones actually gone? Yes, he did lose his lodges. His operating system corrupted. And because of that, he lost a lot of stuff, including like, oh, legendary, including all of his trophy lodges, which is tragic, man. That absolutely sucks. I don't know what I would do if I lost all of my lodges. I, I wouldn't know what to do. Because, I mean, the lodges are the thing that we work on the most in Call of the Wild. Our trophies are, like, the sole reason that we play the game. Or at least it's the sole reason a lot of people play the game.
So it's, I, I could not see it being fun losing all your trophies. 2282. He barely made it, man. That's our first diamond of the grind, and he just barely made it. Oh, you were. Oh, you had a vote for all the different types. Got you. <laughs> My gosh, Chip. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gosh. Chip's having way too much fun making these polls on Twitch, man. He he's having way too much fun. The fl <laughs> People want to see the flowing hair cam. So it's just like a, a camera behind me that's just looking at my hair. Like, that's it. <laughs> oh, man. That would be kind of funny, not going to lie. I, I won't do it, but it would be kind of funny. All right, everybody, I think we're going to go ahead and call it there. I am quite tired after running around all day, so feeling like ending a, a few minutes early. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you all. We didn't get a great one today again, but it is what it is. Call the Wild be like that sometimes. I hope you guys had fun. We will be back tomorrow with another video and uh, potentially a stream later in the day. Probably a couple YouTube shorts. Until then, I'll see you guys later. Peace, peace.